welcome back to another video guys in this video I would like to share with you how I spent my diamonds as a free to play player on Ragnarok Origins Global so if you are just like me currently a free to play F2P player on this game then this video is for you now we know that um, as a F2P we do not have a lot of resources when it comes to diamonds right um, there's only a certain amount that we get every single week um, so before we start um, telling you that um, where you should spend your diamonds I would like to share with you how many diamonds I do actually get in a week so just to recap if we are hardworking enough just to fill up this bar one day we can get a hundred so a week we can get 700 next is the MVP so for M every MVP that we kill I mean we participate not kill um, we get 20 diamonds so a day we can do five so that is a hundred and a week we can get 700 diamonds okay next is the time space anomaly event um, I will share just to share with you how many diamonds I get um, but there is a range okay so there is a range so this uh, week the first time okay um, I get 46 diamonds but I did uh, last time I did get around like 20 diamonds okay and this event can be done twice so I will take the lower end which is 20 diamonds for each run so one week I can do it two times so that is 40 diamonds a week next is the guild lead which I get 56 diamond um, but previously when I wasn't um, like you know getting good scoreboards good score on the scoreboards I only get around like 15 or 20 so just to take the minimum let's just say that I get 20 diamonds and I can do this twice a week that will be 40 diamonds okay the next one is um, the guild, uh, guild weekly report okay so let's see how am I supposed to check this I think weekly benefits okay there you go now this um, usually you guys I'm sure you guys has already been in a guild right so uh, every week if you do uh, all the quests and all that help your guild mates and all that kind of stuff uh, you get a certain amount of diamonds and also zenny okay so over here I get a hundred and twenty um, diamonds and also an additional salary of 120 diamonds okay so for this part additional salary I think I would not include into this calculation so the total diamonds that I get at the bare minimal is 1600 diamonds excluding the salaries okay so what is excluded in this so bare minimum I will get a thousand six hundred diamonds which excludes number one the guild weekly bonus which is 120 diamonds secondly it uh, it excludes the survey so uh, usually they give this kind of stuff right you complete the survey you get diamonds you get some other items as well excludes uh, your redeeming codes and also exclude like hot fixes like issues with the server and then um, uh, the company I mean the, the game actually gives you free diamond okay now let's go to the most important part which is how to spend your diamonds okay pretty simple um, I'll go to the RO shop okay and as you can see um, there's a few tabs here all you need to do the first thing that um, you log in into this game is go to the mysterious shop okay so once you go to this mysterious shop you will notice that um, there is an, a neon berries items and also diamond items okay so this will refresh every single day and you can refresh this once for free okay so as you can see usually when you go into this tab it would say remaining five and there is one like this icon where you can refresh this so what I usually do is I will see what I want if uh, if something that is not there that is not what I want I will just refresh it once because you can refresh once a day for free so the first since we are already in this tab you can see that I for today I bought this Sky Terra optional feather box so uh, this is very important for F2P progression like I said um, today's video or today's 
word of the video is progression okay we want to take things slow and compound it every single day to grow our character okay so this is very important because this sky tier feather can only be uh, you can only get this through like dismantling um, uh, feathers and then buy it from the feather shop so this is kind of important for me so I buy this next we'll go to the diamond shop and there's three tabs on top progression consumables and fashion let's talk about progression first um, there's a lot of things here right as you can see so many stuff so let's go to the stuff that I bought already for this week so this page uh, refreshes every single week right so let's talk about what I bought the first thing that I, I bought was this dual lances of weapon so um, I'm actually currently um, collecting this so that I can update uh, upgrade my statue um, second thing that I bought was this uh, Oridecan. Um Personally, I do not actually want to buy this, but uh, recently we have this event, right? Uh, which is called the Operation Refinement. Um, so I'm trying to just, you know, upgrade my gears and hopefully get some of the rewards. So, um, so I bought that. Then the next is definitely the gacha tickets. Um, this I always buy this every single week. I will cap it out. I think we can buy two every single week. So I buy two every single week for this. Okay, let's scroll back all the way to the top and let me tell you what I usually buy as well. Um, I usually get this, okay? The attack tier, day, uh, day tier one, attack day tier one and the defense night tier one okay because as you can see right here there is only two ways of getting this i mean three ways of getting this feather shop uh, diamond shop which is where we are right now and also the great value pack okay so this is very important for character progression okay why i did not buy first is because i'm trying to to see what is um, what am i able to buy and I'm still contemplating on buying because frankly speaking I only have a thousand six hundred diamonds to spend every single week that is the bare minimum that I can spend right so if I were to buy this and this okay this is already costing me 600 diamonds and this is already costing me 900 diamonds so that is a total of 1500 right so um, this definitely take your time have a look um, and also I'll tell you something that is uh, quite important to buy here if you are planning to buy um, definitely the Enrich Oridecan if your item is above level 10 uh, for uh, any equipment uh, you will need this for weapon and this for I mean this Enrich uh, Aluminium. This is for uh, armor, and this is for weapons. So this two is kind of important as well. Um, but right now, I do not have any gear that is above level ten, so I did not buy it. Okay. The next one is the super pack coupon. Um, frankly speaking, I want to buy it, but as of now, I don't think for me personally, in my opinion, it's not really um, a priority because I already have my S pet. Um, right now, but the only issue that I'm facing right now is how am I supposed to tier my S pet? Because uh, without this, I think um, the only way to tier your pet is through buying the shard. I think, yeah. So um, next, we will talk about all these uh, blessed ore and also this B energy, right? So B energy, uh, I mean this alpha energy and this beta energy is actually used. Um, to refine accessories, headwares, and all that kind of stuff. These are also important, but right now, as of my progression, it is not really that important. Okay, so like I said, it's all about progression, what your character needs right now as it has to be, not what you need in the future. But once you reach that step, we need to um, rethink how to spend the diamonds. So right now, this is how we, we are supposed to spend the diamonds, okay? Mora coins that is not important because you can get this for basically free. Cogwheel gacha, I do not recommend this because we can get cogwheels. Um, not the gold ones, but the purple ones, we can get it um, through a lot of events, right? 
uh, guild token chest this is not worth it at all card coupon gacha um, i don't buy it uh, because i can buy it with the zenny right like uh, through the wishing shop i can just buy it with the zenny so this is not really that important it's optional um star starry moral coin this is also you can buy this um if you need some but please do not cap it out do not buy everything so uh, advice planning zone this is also important all these are basically kind of important uh, like this wild kiwi please do not buy it because you can buy it with zenny which is uh, which costs around 2000 zenny so uh, i don't think you should spend your diamond on this and an advanced cookie when your character uh, when your mount reaches level 20 this is very important but if your mount is lower than level 20 um, you don't really need this okay but you can still choose to you know stock some up you know try like maybe one week you buy two or maybe one week you buy five you know just to stock some up okay this is not really important because we can combine all these green ones to become these blue ones right to upgrade to enhance your your equipment so this is also not really important um the, the next thing that is kind of important is these two things right so this carving hammer so this can if i'm not mistaken you can buy this yeah through the guild shop yeah so we can also buy this from the guild shop so right now i do not really prioritize this um and this as well because we do get this through events yeah so helheim you get this from helheim so um, this too is important but i do not prioritize so what i prioritize just to recap this weapon this one um this one and uh gacha ticket as always every week i'll cap that out and also this to attack day tier and night tier okay so now let's go to the consumables the consumables this too is kind of important uh bloody branch and also dead branch because frankly speaking um we do not want to party and then you know use others item right we want to contribute to the party as well so this is kind of important um speedy candy and lucky candy you know we do get this time to time from like you know um compensation packages from the game so if you do need it just buy like one or two it's fine um if you are into like auto fishing which i do uh, i do buy this like maybe like five every week each uh, if you don't if you don't do like gathering and also fishing it's totally fine you can just skip it other than that this are also not too bad you know if you want to um, repurpose your skill build and all that you know you can buy this is fine but you can just buy one you know other than that everything is not really that important okay i think the last section we are going to go to is the fashion um, all these you know if you're a fashion kind of guy you can cap this out you can buy everything because you know it's just a one-time buy so once you buy it you cannot buy it again so um to me it's not really that important and one more thing that is very important that a lot of people ask me was um the elfheim yeah so let's see how am i supposed to go to the elfheim yes there you go so elfheim on your screen right now you can see that i did not buy any boxes any single boxes okay so i am currently at level 150 floor okay and it cost me 1588 diamonds to buy one okay so to quickly put this into perspective i spent all my weekly diamonds in one box but that doesn't mean that it is bad okay let's check the items inside okay so first thing you get you get a basically a portrait which is just a picture chapter of freedom more a coin advanced cookie guild token and hidden coins okay so let's take out the things that we can get from the game that doesn't use diamond okay frankly speaking the only thing that is important here is the chapter of freedom which we can get it through the guild shop the guild vending machine okay so this is not really that important that is why i do not uh, recommend you to put this as a priority but unless you have extra diamond to spend or you really need this chapter of freedom to level up your title i guess i think it's a title or emblem i don't know what's it called but that 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 thing that you want to upgrade with this chapter of freedom you can buy it okay um, so let's take an example of um, this okay 
So what you get, you get another chapter of freedom, more coin, card album, kiwis, and you know guild token reputation box and Eden coin so as we can see right here mora coin is important because this is what you use to enchant your weapons right but we can get this free so this is not really that important and the most important item here is actually the chapter freedom which we can buy this one time every week on the guild shop unless you are desperate desperate to get this you know just to level up your title or your emblem i don't know what's it called you need one more you buy this but if not it is not a very good investment frankly speaking it is not a good investment because at the end of the day we are thinking about progression okay so for example this 110 floor this is not bad because we get sky and terra optional feather 10 um, which cost around I think um, 70 uh, diamonds each, each if I'm not mistaken I'm not sure but this is definitely not bad um, but like I said, not a priority, okay? So if you have spent most of your diamond on this, frankly speaking, you are you have wasted uh, a lot because there is not much progression for your character, okay? The most important thing right now is your feather, frankly speaking, uh, besides then your refinement, your enchantment, all this, right? Your cards and all that. The most important thing is your feathers okay so just to briefly touch upon we can look here this dual um valkyrie feather this um statue itself i mean statue right it looks like a statue this statue itself just gave me all these bonuses okay just a quick tip make sure you tier everything um at the same tier so you can get more set bonuses so that's about it for today's video the word of this video today is progression thank you so much for watching cheers and i see you in the next video take care